Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a basic screen pump effect in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.6. Inside my edit window, I've incorporated one video clip from my media port to my project timeline. Selecting the clip attributes of the same sunrise clip, I can see that the frame rate for this particular video clip will be 30. My frame rate will help me determine how many stills my screen pump effect will comprise of. Using the selection mode tool, drag the red playhead to the point on your timeline where you want the screen pump effect to start. In this case here my first screen pump will start at the 2 second mark. Select the blade edit mode which you can also do by pressing B. Left click on the red line below your red playhead to make a trim. Return to your selection mode by pressing A. Select the media clip after the red playhead line. Go to Inspector and under Video, left click once on the keyframe diamond icon next to Zoom X and Y. Given that my particular video clip here in this project comprises of 30 frames per second, I wish for the zoom in and out segments of my screen pump effect to last for 4 frames each. I can skip forward by 4 frames on my timeline to complete the initial zoom in by holding in K and tapping L 4 times. If you make a mistake at all and need to go back a frame instead, hold in K and tap J instead. Change either zoom X or Y to 1.3. Note how a keyframe is automatically assigned to these variables. Now advance by 4 more frames, so that the zoom out duration is equal to the zoom in. Change zoom X or Y back to 1, so that both variables are set to their default values. Select your blade edit mode again, and go to make a trim on the red line on your timeline where the screen pump will end. Go to Effects Library, underneath Open Effects, find Zoom Blur. Click and drag this to the trimmed edit on your timeline. With the trimmed edit selected, go to Inspector, Open Effects, and change Smooth Strength to 0.325. We want a consistent zoom blur across 8 frames and therefore a keyframe setting is not necessary. To create a duplicate of your screen pump effect, locate the point on your project timeline with your red playhead where you wish for your next screen pump effect to start from. Use the blade edit mode to create a trimmed edit, which is the same length as the previous edits that you used in your first screen pump effect. In this case here in my project it is 8 frames. Go to the Selection Mode tool, select the edits where your initial screen pump effect is incorporated, hold Ctrl and press C to copy, use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Now select the edits where you want your next screen pump effect to go, hold in Alt and press V to paste attributes, use Option instead of Alt if you are a Mac user. Inside the Paste Attributes window, Ensure Maintain Timing is selected. Tick Zoom, so that both X and Y are selected. And tick Plugins, so that your Zoom Blur is also copied and pasted to your next edit. Click Apply. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.